So, hey, this is John from Olsen Motorsports, uh, also known as Grumpy Old Guy, uh, Twitchy, because my eye twitches, and Johnny Boy! So what we're doing today, uh, we're gonna use our Vixen unit uh, to clean and finish these parts, not only the aluminum, but we're also gonna take these uh, transmission stubs, we're gonna clean these so that we can send them off to yellow zinc plating and what can't you see i'm doing a video you chooch all right yeah thanks can you believe these guys so anyway what i want to show you is this is our vixen unit this is an aqua blast unit what's unique about this is is that we use water high pressure air and glass bead what's nice about the glass bead is it kind of peens the surface but unlike aluminum oxide, it doesn't cut into it. So it doesn't change its shape. So like on those axle stubs, I don't have to worry about affecting any of the bearing race surfaces. So we get them nice and clean. They look like brand new. And then we can either plate or we just use this and it looks like it came right from the factory. So what I'm gonna do is load this up in our unit. And you can see how dirty it is, right? There's some Cosmoline on here. There's some dirt, cosmoline under here. And what we're hoping is we're gonna be able to get this done and out, have it look like a brand new factory part. So here we go. Safety glasses at all times, even though we're in a cabinet, you don't wanna get your eyeball all screwed up because then T.O. Tizzle gets all mad because it can't work. And then my wife yells at me for just cause, right? So, nice heavy duty gloves, get set up, and I am going to start blasting. So here we go. Now what we'll do is, I'm just gonna pull this out and show you uh, some of the difference between clean and dirty. And of course, different parts will take longer um, due to the amount of dirt, cosmoline, oil, uh, whatever might be on it, including corrosion. Uh, aluminum seems to react really, really well with this stuff. So, just to give you an idea, this is the way we saw it when we took this part in, correct? All dirty, cosmoleaned up. And this is just after a few minutes of our vapor blasting, this is what we've achieved. And you can see this was dirty as this one, this side, now there's a couple spots where we gotta maybe concentrate a little bit on, but this is what you'll get. And it's basically factory brand new. So go back and finish this one up. Now, if you think this is really cool, be sure to like us on Facebook, look up for Instagram, uh, comment too, we're always welcome uh, open to hearing comments of what you folks think. Okay. Okay. 
Tim's idea of a really good spray nozzle, the thing's a beast. Nothing but the best though. So, pretty much brand new part. Might be a couple of small spots of cosmoline, but you really can't tell until you pull it out. So this part is essentially done and ready for installation. Now, there are times we'll go ahead and seal it. Sometimes we leave it raw. The actual stuff's in the transmission. Again, like I said, the benefit of using the Aqua Blast with the glass bead, very fine glass bead, is that we're gonna knock all whatever dirt and scale and uh, oil off of this. Machine surfaces will be nicely bead blasted, if you will, but not etched. The same goes for the bearing races, but really importantly is that all these splines, we're gonna be able to get into these splines and clean these so that we know when we put the transmission part back together that it's gonna fit perfectly. There's gonna be no dirt, oil, residue, or anything. So another real nice benefit of this. Then these are gonna go off to yellow zinc chromate and be plated. So that's the basic transmission parts right now. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna get the uh, transmission uh, plugged up, capped up, and we're gonna load the uh, transmission in, and I'm gonna show you briefly how we go about and blast the exterior of the transmission so it looks like new as well. It's Johnny Boy! <laughs> 